Portland really embraces and encourages self-expression. Portland is just so authentic, it almost hurts. It's not a commercial city, it's a creative city. Everything is not downtown centric, and everyone's trying to make their little slice of Portland welcoming and unique and weird and all the fun Portland stuff that it is. I love the fact that we have such a wide and varied and really relevant and exciting food culture. The food, the wine, and the beer is just amazing here. You cannot beat how green it is here, the proximity to the coast and the mountains. It's really, really a special place. Yeah, you should visit Portland. I mean, I visited once and I moved here. We're from Louisiana originally, and we wanted to do a survey of Southern food. We serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner, huge weekend brunch. We try to always balance southern rich comfort foods with the lighter side of things, which the Northwest has bounty of to offer. People are always, you know, swapping and tasting things, and it's a party. And that's what we try to throw every day, is a big party. Somebody's been back of the house. It's bad that the kitchen usually located if you go to Thailand, like in rural area, and this is where we located in the back of another restaurant. We transport you to several areas in Thailand and trying to offer it as a tasting menu so you get several dishes that we plan and thought this group of food to go really well together. We have the ultimate niche, as I like to say, and that is we are the only place in the entire world that has five flavors of housecrafted chai and fresh made to order many donuts. And if you're a fan of chai and you're a fan of donuts, you've got to come check us out. They've taken something familiar, the donut, and just injected it with love. It's just a heaven in a sear that you can fit in your mouth. It's great. For people to be able to experience a fresh made to order mini donut, to us is akin to them being able to get fresh, high quality bread right out of the oven. You literally can't beat it. That's pastry in its finest form, as far as I'm concerned. Originally, we were sort of thinking that it was kind of like a mini carnival, sideshow kind of effect, but it's sort of evolved more towards a very odd gallery slash museum experience. Obviously, we like Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster, Jupacabra, but we also like anything that's just sort of out of the ordinary that's welcome here. The Peculiarium appeals to Portlanders because they want something unique because they are unique. We started to look at cocoa beans like a winemaker looks at grapes. We just use cacao and sugar, so there's nowhere to hide. So our chocolate is really representative of the agriculture and the beans. We built out the front space here, and we tried to make it so that it's a nice vantage point where you can see the whole process. I've made a lot of really fun things out of chocolate, like this hair piece. This is made from our house blend and our Madagascar chocolate. It is a puppet museum dedicated to the art and the history of worldwide and Oregon puppetry. They're always seeing beautiful works of art, beautiful works of puppetry when they come to visit. I love the marionettes, those are my favorites. It's because I can make them fly, I can make them walk, I can make them dance. What is so special about puppetry is it's human beings creating the illusion of life using an inanimate object, and that's what's so fascinating about it. Mississippi Studio started as a recording studio and gently revolved into what it is now. One of the best venues in Portland. It's a cool place. Um, Mississippi is one of the more recent hotspots of creative energy in Portland. And uh, I think Mississippi Studios is like right in the heart of that. We have all kinds of events from country to rap music to comedy shows. We want to appeal to all audiences. The room is pretty famous for the sound. It was built without a single perfect parallel wall just to advance all the acoustics to be the best as it can be. 
Ex Novo is the first non-profit brewery in the world, as far as I'm aware. We keep about six or so full-time taps and then rotate seasonally, usually release about a new beer every week. You can see everything that's happening in the space, you can see most of the equipment. We don't give a lot of brew tours because people are like, oh yeah, there it is, there's all the stuff. We're trying to do everything right. We're trying to do some of the best beer in town, which is a tall order, there's a lot of great beer here. At the end of the day, your pint and your food and whatever else you buy, you know, it's making a difference, making an impact. It is Portland's ping pong paradise. My brother and I grew up playing ping pong as kids. We realized that it's still fun, but there wasn't a great place to do that in Portland. We opened last November, and it is a dozen ping pong tables, a full bar, a full kitchen, and it's a lot of fun. The atmosphere is actually interesting here because during the day, we actually have a lot of families, and it's really fun to see generations play ping pong with each other. Portlanders are really serious about being casual. We're really good about not like getting caught up in things. People are having a good time here and it's contagious. There's no shortage of raw talent and creativity that pours out of this place.